one of the first songs I ever learned. Ragnar the Red. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to Whiterun for... Okay then, so after a productive day spent getting drunk, we are going to head to the College of Winterhold. See, we're already a student, we're spending our first week drinking. But yeah, we'll go to the College of Winterhold, see what is up. Everyone keeps saying if you want to be a mage, go to the College of Winterhold. And let's be honest, Winterhold is really far away. I mean, look at it, it's right there on the edge of nowhere. I mean, think how cold Windhelm is, and then look where Winterhold is. I mean, if people are willing to go that far north, there must be something there worth going to. Uh, unfortunately, when I was checking patches and things, it turns out the uh, the um, immersive college of Winterhold patch does require you sleep um, the legendary patch which we don't have for this game. Um, I realize there's ways I can change it around and you can run a script and it makes it work in reverse, um, not need that as a master. But looking at it as well, there are no um, like perk conflicts with the characters. So from that perspective, it should all be good to go as is. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? I want to go to Winterhold. Climb and back and we'll be off. And it does appear the um, the new creatures added in have well, been given perks by Requiem. Not necessarily going to make them super tough or anywhere near as powerful as they would be in vanilla Skyrim. But it is something. It means they sh shouldn't be complete and utter walkovers. And this is Winterhold. And it's freezing. And we are going to freeze to death. Right away, unless we get into the... Into the inn. Jeez. I'm sorry, could you... I don't really know anyone at the college. I guess everyone just... I do because I'm a dumb out ...and then exploded. What did you do? It was a minor miscalculation. I've already corrected it for future experiments. This. This is why people have a problem with your college, Nilikar. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. I'll settle for not freezing to death. That would be a good start. Arriving in the middle of a snowstorm. Not the best introduction to your town, I have to say. But you mentioned something about a college, so I'm just going to speak to this gentleman here about it. I don't deal with any college applicants these days, so don't bother asking. But you're with the college. No. Gods, no. Not for years. Oh? I left Winterhold for some time. And return to stay here at the inn. Why would you do that? I still have research that keeps me busy, and being here in Winterhold ensures I have access to former colleagues. Makes sense. What have you got for sale? Take a look. Okay. Well, if you have some adept robes of destruction, I could be interested, but you apparently don't. These spells are all mighty expensive. Hello, do you have Soul Trap? You do. Okay. 
Yeah, I think we need Soul Trap. Expensive, but it's worth it. All right, then. We're going to need this spell. To, uh, well, to trap souls. If we're going to do enchanting, we need souls. That might help us um, level up our uh, conjuration while we're at it. Uh, let's speak to the innkeeper. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Uh, what can you tell me about Winterhold? I'm afraid there's not much to be said. Winterhold is hardly what it used to be. You can talk to Birna if you need to buy anything. She doesn't have much, but could certainly use the coin. And then there's our little inn. Most of the business we get is from folks here to visit the college. Though even that's dried up some. Oh, uh, yeah, I overheard that about the college. That's right. College of Interval, just north of town. Hard to miss. Okay. Well, we're going to go Until there. Until next time. I might ask him about work later on, but for now, we'll check out the college. Assuming it's not a snowstorm out here. Which it is. Oh no. It seems to have cleared up a little bit. No. No it hasn't. It's just cleared up because we're under here. Don't know how these Nords manage to survive in the uh, in the cold. Definitely not my preferred climate. Okay, so let's see about getting into the college. Cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. Um, I was hoping to actually gain entry. I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college. And if, in the process, my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is, why are you here? Uh, I'd like to enter the college. Perhaps. But what is it you expect to find within? Um... I kind of do want to use the power of fire and ice to destroy any who oppose me, but I don't think saying that's the best idea. We'll come up with some high-minded sounding goal about magical research and stuff. Ah, the immortal plane. It is said to be the source of all magic. This is a noble goal, indeed. It would seem that the college has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the college? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. We both know that I'm going to pass this no, test. No, I'm afraid I don't know anything of the sort. Fine then. Excellent. The Mage Light spell is useful to any mage, not just those specializing in alteration. Can you cast one on the seal on the ground? Uh, I don't actually know the spell, but I'm sure I can. No? Well, if you think you're capable of it, then I'd be happy to provide it to you for a mere 30 gold. Or you can try your luck with one of the court wizards around Skyrim. They also sell spells. Not at 30 gold, they don't. Here you are. Now I'm anxious to see you cast it. Alright. So. Mage light, mage light. 106. Easy. The college is an asset to Skyrim. Well done indeed. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. Okay. Just a moment. Oh, that was the wrong one. Just want to, uh... Add some spells to my, uh... My favorites. Yeah, I think that'll do for now.
she was not joking when she said the way is dangerous. Are you sure this bridge is um, structurally sound? That doesn't look good. That looks even worse. You go first, I'll follow. Yeah, I'm still here, I haven't been blown off by a gale or anything yet. Lighting around here might be a little bit funny. Um, we'll see how it goes. Because um, the Mercer College of Winterhold does add a lot of new light sources. So we'll see. <gasps> I believe I've made myself rather clear. Sound more. Yes, of course. I'm simply trying to understand the reasoning behind the decision. You may be used to the Empire bowing to your every whim, but I'm afraid you'll find that Thalmor received no such treatment here. You are a guest of the College, here at the pleasure of the Archmage. I hope you appreciate the opportunity. Yes, of course. The Archmage has my thanks. Very good. Then we're done here. Okay. Got stuck in the, uh, the warming animation there for a moment. But uh, let's speak to Mirabel. Welcome to the college. Uh, yeah, I was told to come see you. Another new student. I'm surprised at how many of you there are lately. Well, first you'll need these. While you're not required to wear them, you may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. I'll give you a brief tour, and then we'll get you to your first class. Are you ready to begin? I am. Wonderful. Please follow me, and don't wander off. The of Winterhold has been a fixture in Skyrim for thousands of years. The prominent feature here is the Hall of the Elements. It's our primary location for lectures, practice sessions, and general meetings. The Arcanium is located above the Hall, and the Archmage's quarters above that. While technically in charge of the College, the Archmage's responsibilities often keep him occupied. Thus, I run the day-to-day -day operations. Now, if you'll please follow me, I'll show you the living quarters. Unfortunately, we've had to implement more stringent entry procedures due to some problems with the local Nords. We don't anticipate any real violence, but it never hurts to be prepared. The local Nords have to be pretty stupid to uh, attack this place. That's assuming they could get across the bridge, which isn't exactly a given. I will lollygag where and when I please. Our newest members are housed here, in the Hall of Attainment. I'll ask that you please keep your voice down while inside, as others may be working on research or delicate experiments. Okay. I do like the flooring in here. So I believe this would be our room. It is empty. Oh, and the door's shut automatically. Now I'll show you to your quarters. You're going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices, who you'll meet shortly. This is where you'll be staying. This bed and desk are yours. Please try and be considerate of others. Now, let's go back to the Hall of the Elements, where most of the members gather for lectures and study sessions. Uh, okay. Having my own bed is quite nice, though. Let's 
this college might make for a nice little uh, base of operations. Although travel to and from here is not the easiest. Initially, you'll be learning from Tolkien, one of our most esteemed wizards. Okay. Dear is likely already addressing the new apprentices. Go on in, and if you have any problems, let one of our senior members know. Okay. Well, I'll go in in a minute. I just want to have another look at my room. This is quite nice. Uh, we'll take those gloves. Well, nice to see we have decent clothes if we need them. Any little Telos, huh? Yeah, we won't be using that. Lots of eye patches in here. Do they have a lot of one-eyed students? And if they do, I wonder what that says about the college. Well, I'll take those. Maybe we'll dress more appropriately for college-based lessons. Mage boots, mage gloves. There we go. something to eat. And something to drink and then we will get to class. Hard save while we're here. Yeah, you can see the lighting is a little bit funny when I move the camera around. It's okay, it'll just be a little bit annoying at times and you we need to keep an eye on welcome welcome we were just beginning please stay and listen so as i was saying the first thing to understand is that magic is by its very nature volatile and dangerous unless you can control it it can and will destroy you Sir, I think we all understand that fairly well. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't control magic. Of course, my dear, of course. You all certainly possess some inherent natural ability. That much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control. Mastery of magic. It takes years, if not decades, of practice and study. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Please, please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Eagerness must be tempered with caution, or else disaster is inevitable. But we've only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. Why not give us a chance to show you what we can do? 
You've been quiet so far. What do you think we should do? Um, I think we should learn something practical. Um, if these students can't cut it and can't control their magic, they'll die off quickly and that will leave uh, the more competent students to get on with their studies without having to hold their hands. So let's be honest, these guys, I don't think they're going to cut it, most of them. Is that so? It is. Maybe he agrees with us too. Why don't you actually show us something? All right, let's settle down. I suppose we can try something practical. In continuing with our theme of safety, we'll start with wards. Wards are protective spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a ward, and we'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Would you mind helping me with a demonstration? Are you at all familiar with ward spells? Not really, no. That's all right. I can teach you a very basic ward, one that's enough for the purposes of this lesson. Okay. Now, if you just stand right over there, I'll cast a spell at you, and you block it with the ward. Here we go. Over there, please. Give me a moment. Oh, this could drain our magic quite quickly. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. It's just here. Now, cast the ward spell. And keep it up. You have to keep your ward up, or else this won't work. I was Don't keeping it up. up. Over there, please, just opposite me. Okay. Don't want anyone else in the way. Hold still. Excellent work. Well, I think this is an excellent start. I'd like you all to continue practicing with wards, please. I think perhaps we're ready to begin exploring some of mm. the various applications of magic throughout history. The college has undertaken a fascinating excavation in the ruins of Sarthor nearby. It's an excellent learning opportunity. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. That's all for now. Thank you. I'm not convinced this ward spell is so helpful. That burns for our magicka extremely fast. Um... I do want to speak to this gentleman. Another new apprentice, I see. Are you of the sort that believe you're here to change the world? Or are you only in it for yourself? Yes. I assure you that I shall be watching you. All very closely. Um, I'd like to know more about the Thalmor. Now that stability has been established between the Dominion and the Empire, we seek only to help Skyrim, uh -huh. to guide its people through this time of transition, to help lead them to a better future. Hmm, okay, and what is it you do here? I am an advisor to the Archmage. The Thalmor wish to promote relations with your college. I am at the Archmage's disposal if he requires advice. And does he require advice? Perhaps not as often as he should. In time, I believe he will be more trusted. Okay. Well, I'm going to explore the college grounds. Because there is one thing that I do like about Mercer College of Winterhold is that... Um, when you go into the halls, the various halls, the halls of attainment and so on, there are um, study guides of a sort around. So if we head upstairs, there should be a few of them. Not in all the rooms, obviously, but some of them. So, here we are, the alchemy room. Materials are being used for study. Okay. And what about this book here? Methods of implementing more advanced enchantments using standard enchanting tables. Interesting. And 
what happened here? Catalogue of temporary like flora and fauna with alchemical indications with information regarding location, abundance, and property. Okay, so it doesn't give you like a huge amount of experience unless your experience is already quite low. But um, it gives a, a reasonable amount. Oh, you can actually see through the window. I'm impressed. Let's have a look at this book. This tome contains detailed illustrations of Dwemer automatons with speculation regarding potential power sources. Yes, that is a bit of a puzzle. I've heard that uh, most Dwemer automatons have soul gems in them, but not all of them do. Sometimes soul gems are filled, and sometimes they're not. So it doesn't seem like the soul gems themselves are the source of the power, but they are obviously related in some way. Oh, that's a lot of um, materials in here. Let's have a quick look at this book. Well, I'm not going to read all of that, but if anyone else wants to, it's there. Let me give you a bit of advice. Mm -hmm. You want to work on something that's not officially allowed? Don't tell anyone you're doing it. You need something you're not officially supposed to have? You come see me. Oh, You tell okay. anyone that I told you, and I'll fry you from the inside out. Got it? Huh? Good. Even with the college's laid-back attitude, there are still some things that are off-limits. Ah, uh, can we do business? I hope you've got some coin. I've got a bit. Uh, let's just take a look, then. Let's see what you deal in. Adept robes. Adept hood. That is tempting. That is very tempting. That's very expensive. Ooh, you should not have those. Very naughty. Okay. Until next time. Let's just see who else is around here. Anyone? Ooh, plenty of food. Elsewhere fondue. Taking it. We are taking that. This tome contains a variety of traditional Nordic recipes. So elsewhere fondue is pretty helpful, though I believe they've nerfed it in the most recent version. Uh, but still pretty helpful. If you want quick recovery after combat, that's the way to go. Tome contains a catalogue of Cambrioic flora and fauna, just like the one we saw before. Okay. Basic principles of metal work. Okay.
I think we'll uh, finish up looking around here and then we will make the trip to Sarthal. What's the time anyway? It's quite late in the day. I'd rather not... Oh, I went too far. I would rather not travel to Sarthal at night. Or have to stay there overnight either. I've just got a bed. I don't want to have to be sleeping in a tent as an excavation site. Out in the freezing cold snow of northern Never Skyrim. Never a fine job as Master Wizard, I suppose. Still, there's always room for improvement. I can't wait to see who succeeds Mirabelle. I've no doubt she'll be promoted to Archmage at some point. Uh, is there any um, advice you can give me about destruction? Certainly. Destruction spells come in different forms, each useful for various purposes. Concentration spells can be cast immediately, though they're weaker. Good for a tight spot and less costly if you miss. You'll also need to decide whether to devote yourself to a single type of spell. Focusing solely on flame spells will make them more powerful, but you may find yourself at a disadvantage against foes immune to fire. Uh, what have you got for sale? Take a look. Edit robes of destruction. Oh, it almost clean me out, but it's tempting. Spell-wise, though, not much. Mm -hmm. I do have yet to install the Apocalypse spell package, but I will be doing that at some point. Oh, well, this is um, not at all creepy. Compare the anatomy of modern with their more at more in ancestors. Interesting. Shrine of RK. Hmm. Okay. Please don't bother the Archmage unless it's absolutely necessary. I have no intention of doing so. What is going on in here? An intricate piece of artwork by an unknown religious scholar. Okay. This tome contains Phineas's insights into conjuration magic with a particular focus on necromatic rituals dealing with black souls. The Pluck proposes a novel combination of markings and invocation that would result in more permanent summonings. Interesting. I have to meet this Phineas fellow at some point, even though he does appear to be a necromancer. Or at least interested in necromancy. Take that elsewhere fondue. The tome contains Ferralda's insights into destruction magic, but many of the diagrams and incantations have been damaged. Okay. I think most of the instructors are doing demonstrations in uh, the Hall of Elements, so we'll go there. Hmm. Or maybe not. In that case, let's see where these stairs lead. Just hope we don't fall off.
Oh, it's like a little little dining area up here. Okay. Uh oh, Emphir and I are about to uh, collide on the stairs. Even with the cup laid back attitude, there are still some things that are off limits. Okay. And the Arcanium. Let's go have a look around there. Huh. A map of Tamriel. Well, some of it anyway. Okay, that's enough looking at that. An edict is carved in various Old Norse dialects. Okay, if you say so. There is a lot of books here. What's that one doing on the floor? The Ethereum Wars. Mm. Ethereum is a rare luminescent blue crystal found in some Dwemer ruins. Uh, it's a curiosity, more all but impossible to work with. Strong magical aura, but alchemically inert. A no known process can enchant, smelt, mold, bind, or break it. Da, 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 da. An Ethereum forge was constructed to smelt it under precisely controlled conditions. Interesting. That might be worth looking into at some point. Till I then. I see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? We're clear. In fact, I've brought you back a book here. Huh. Okay. Alright then, so what we'll do is we will rest up. And then, in the morning, we will head out to um, this Sarthal expedition thing. Because, yeah, it's almost 4 p.m. If we go there now, we're never going to come back during daylight hours. Let's 
instead we will get something to eat we will rest and yeah that's our plan that is our plan where was the food room so even on this level yes it was uh, hmm. I'll have an apple cabbage stew and a sweet roll and a boiled cream treat because why not? It is a bit early in the day to be sleeping but whatever. Let's see how we're doing carry capacity wise we should be okay. Although we could store a couple of things here. Don't really need two novice hoods. Uh, yeah, make it a safe container. We'll put the novice robes in. And the gloves and the boots. We'll re equip our armor. Amethyst in two. Okay. And then we will sleep. Okay, up nice and early. Ish. And we'll have some bread, we'll have a sweet roll. Have a drink. Any more food in here that we can have? And we'll have another sweet roll. Oh, we can actually do some cooking. Um, yeah. Okay. Even though it's daylight, it's still going to be pretty cold outside, I should think. Okay, the snow is settling. That's always good. So what we do need is the mage coat. Because that will keep us from freezing. And now that we actually have the uh, the second level perk for alteration, it doesn't cost as much to cast, which is nice. Okay. Get some water from the inn, and then we will make our way. Stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Uh, refill of water would be nice. Of course. Thank you. Until next time. We'll just warm up for a moment. And we'll make a save. And then we'll be on our way. No, I think we're as warm as we're going to get. Just to make sure we uh, keep 
that spell up as well. Okay, so this is where we're headed. I'm pretty sure there's a path through here looking at the map, so that's the way we're going to take. That would be just just up here. Here it is. That's our route. Just to be on the safe side, we'll get mage armor up as well. And we'll get our wolf ready. Who knows what we might face? What the hell? Berserker Orc, of course. Why did she hit me? And why did my wolf run away? Try that again. Why are there so many belligerent strangers on the roads of Skyrim? I mean, the biggest problem we seem to have in Morrowind is drunk and naked Nords wandering around the landscape. That was the wrong spell. That was what we wanted. Now we've wasted a ton of magicka. Ah. Ice race. Okay. God, they're hard to hit. most graceful swordsmanship you'll ever see, but uh, it worked. they dart around so much it's very hard to uh, actually know whether or not you're going to hit them and let's get mage coat back up that's an ice troll I think we should stay away from that that's it you go fight the saber cat Leave me alone. Okay, so where's this south hall? Down here somewhere? Yep, down there. Okay. Looks like this is the best route to take. Oh no. Fellow college students. Yeah, that's it. Very nicely done, all of you. I take back every rude word I said about your competence. You did 
fairly well, even if I suspect Tolf Deer did Good most of it. Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man I don't want tomatoes. Silver could be handy, but um uh, read note. By oblivion, don't forget to lock the chest with the emergency supplies again. The Archmage's purse will be giving you some very powerful and valuable things from his own collection to ensure that no one gets hurt or even worse. We still do not know if there are, remain any Draugr in the ruin. You have personally witnessed what these things can do uh, to you, so respect that as well as everyone's safety and see to that these supplies are not stolen. These things can save lives out there. Well then... I think I should take these things because obviously I'm the most trustworthy person here. It's starting to feel a bit chilly. That's not good. Okay, Tolf dear. I find it hard to it's believe always encouraging to see the younger generation so, um, embracing education. What's so important about this place? We're particularly interested in the prevalence of magical seals placed on the tombs here. It's rather unlike anything we've encountered. Mm, and what is this place exactly? Anything. Anything at all that might be of interest. That's why I adore this location. We have no idea what we're going to find. And if along the way my message about the dangers of magic should happen to sink in for a few students, that would be a happy coincidence. Um, okay, I'm ready. Let's go. All right. Please stay close to me while we're inside. It should be safe, but it's always better to be cautious. Guys, you need to move out of Tolf Deer's way. There we go. Sometimes the pathfinding, not always the cleverest. Okay, well at least they've got some fires lit in here. That means it shouldn't be too cold. Oops, that's that's definitely not the spell we want. Uh, we'll just have Mage Coat up, because I think it's about to run out. There we go. Where did everyone go? They're all through here, are they? No, they're all back this way. Why is everyone out here? Oh, 
What the hell is Tolf Deer doing? And how the hell did you get all the way over there? You know what, I'm going to go inside, I'm going to wait an hour and see what happens. I have never seen this happen before, ever. I blame the troll. The troll messed everything up for everyone. Um. Okay, there he is. See? Sometimes you just got to wait. Well, are there any questions before we begin? Um, what have you got for sale? Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Okay. Hmm. That could be helpful. Yeah, we'll buy that. Next time. Okay. Please be careful here. Ah, oh, yeah. Hmm. Well, why don't you see if you can assist Arnie again? He's one of our scholars, here working on cataloging our finds. I expect he'd appreciate some help in locating any additional magical artifacts here in the ruins. Any enchanted items will do. The usefulness of the enchantment is irrelevant. If you find anything, the class can look it over. Now let's see. What shall we have the rest of you do? Brelina, my dear, why don't you search for warding? Uh, yep. Anything designed to keep people out. Don't interact with them, just identify them. Armand, please search that area over there. See if you notice any individual. So let's see what. Effect does that have? Okay, so it's bumped our health up a little bit, which is always nice. And our carry weight, Alive? yep, bumped that up quite significantly. Oh, I see a treasure chest. Let's have a look inside. Nope. It's okay, I've got too many lock picks anyway. Just taking up weight in my inventory. So here. There we go. And an ancient Nord bow, just what I always wanted. Except for the part where, you know, I didn't. It is dark in here. Let's get uh, some candlelight up. So we can see what we're doing. Seeing what we're doing is always good. Let's um, have a look at these. Um... do we have down here? Some mushrooms. Not a whole lot else. Okay then. Let's see what Arnie all wants. going to take forever to sit through all this. Uh, Tolf dear sent me to help you. What? Ah, yes. You. I remember you. You're going to help? That's fine. Just 
Just don't make a mess of my work. I've only looked through a portion of this section. You, uh, you can look around in the chambers just north of here. Try and be careful, all right? We don't want to damage anything. Okay. All right, then. So let me just grab this moss. Chambers north of here. Well, I'd love to, but I've seen this soul gem. And I want it. Phone meal. Hello. Just leaving enchanted rings lying around. The ancient Nords were uh, very messy people. That's the conclusion I'm coming to here, anyway. And, ah, this looks interesting. What was that? Oh no. What in the world was that racket? Is everything alright? Uh, I think I'm trapped in here, actually. How in the world did that happen? Uh, I pulled the amulet off the wall. Really? Perhaps the amulet is important somehow. Is there some way you can use it? <sighs> I mean, maybe. Uh, Sartho amulet. Do you see that? Some kind of resonance. You and the wall. It must be connected to the... Damn. Kind of uh, blew a hole through that. Well, this is highly unusual and very interesting. Why in the world would this be sealed off? What is this place? I don't like the look of this. Okay, what's that? Oh. Hold, mage, and listen well. Know that you have set in motion a chain of events that cannot be stopped. Judgment has not been passed, as you had no way of knowing. Judgment will be passed on your actions to come, and how you deal with the dangers ahead of you. This warning is passed to you because the Sigic Order believes in you. You, Mage, and you alone have the potential to prevent disaster. Take great care and know that the Order is watching. Sigic Order? I... I swear I felt something rather strange just then. What just happened? Um, and some kind of apparition appeared and spoke. I'm afraid I didn't see anything. Can you tell me more about what you saw? Uh, it says something about danger ahead and the Sigic Order. The Sigic Order? Are you quite sure about that? That's very odd. And danger ahead? Why, that doesn't make any sense at all. The Sigics have no connection to these ruins. And no one's seen any of their order in a long time. Perhaps we should take a look inside these coffins. Now, please do be careful. Who knows what we're going to find? Uh, what is the Sigic Order, exactly? It sounds familiar, but I can't put a finger on it. They were a group of mages with a history that predates the Empire. Very powerful, very secretive. No one's seen them in well over a hundred years. They vanished, along with their sanctuary on the Isle of Artaeum. I have no idea what connection they'd have to this place. Hmm... Why would they be contacting me? I have no idea, but it's fascinating. Assuming it's true, of course. The Isle of Artaeum disappeared over a hundred years ago, and no one has seen them since. And yet now, suddenly, they've chosen to contact you. Why, it's intriguing. If nothing else, I'd take it as a compliment. The Sigics have only ever dealt with those they feel worthy. Well, that would be me. I am pretty worthy. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Well, the Sidric said danger ahead, so let's prepare. Um, how much does it cost to cast Fire Rune? Quite a bit, but let's lay one down. Oh. Oh, disarmed, disarmed, not good. Firebolt and absorbing grasp. Hey, be careful. Where'd my sword go? Be prepared to defend yourself. Ah, there it is. Okay. Well, I would have been alright if I hadn't been disarmed. Ouch. <sighs> I'm not eating human flesh. Just get that out of the way right away. I think we need the ring of wielding here more. Do it with a little bit of healing as well. And a little bit of magicka. Good thing I got that rune down when I did. Uh, also need to eat and drink. Um What you're doing? Oh, human bones. Charming. Is, uh, is someone there? This can't be good. I picked the right spell I have. Why just look at all these cards? Okay. This bears closer inspection. I'd like to stay a while and examine this. You, however, should press on. See if you can find whatever this vision of yours is. If it is truly dangerous, be careful. Yeah. I'll be sure and catch up with you before long. This does look pretty dangerous, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure I appreciate the idea of you staying here while I do all the hard work either, but... Well, I suppose... This is how real mages are made. I was saying the others needed to deal with danger better. And here I am, dealing with danger. So empty, empty... Not empty, but we're not going to steal from the dead. Unless the dead try to attack us, in which case I think we're pretty justified in stealing from them. Oh, that's nice. Okay.
trapped in a corner with a Draugr. Well, I had too many potions anyway. Admittedly, this is a lot easier now that we've got something like um, Red Eagle's Bane. That definitely does help a lot. So were we shot in the back? I don't know. I hope at least this is uh, allowing people to appreciate why Bleak Falls Barrow is not a starter dungeon. In Requiem. Okay, looks like we cleared out all Draugr. Uh, that was Blister Ward, which means we can make some potions of healing some good potions of healing as well okay yes I wish to leave the alchemy table which isn't a table but whatever it came through those doors okay so there's a dagger Battle axe is not what I need. Coin purse, ruby, glass arrow of frost. We'll take it, even though we're not an archer. And yes, I saw we leveled up. Don't worry. Just searching for anything we can use, like this. even though it's probably just got some Nord arrows in it or something. Oh, there's a garnet. That's something. Okay. Level up. Um, more Magicka. Let's see. Destructions at 29. Alterations at 26. Ooh, magic resistance. That's tempting. But I think we should probably take that. Because then we can take sword specialization. 
up here. And all will be good. Alright, let's proceed. Proceed with caution, but proceed nonetheless. More blister wart. More hanging moss. Let's get our spell back up. The trap here somewhere. You can tell by all these. Let's go get a wolf. Oh wow, that can't be good. Definitely not good. Not good. Drag of Death Lords, very scary. Okay, if we stick close to the edges, we should probably avoid the trap. Oh, Grand Soul Gem. That's right, I should be soul trapping things. Not been doing a good job of that so far. Um, take a potion, sure. Let's get some light up in here. But maybe we should, um,. We should quick find that. Uh oh, this is one of these Nordic puzzles, isn't it? Heard about these. So that's a whale and that's a whale. But that's a raven and that's not a whale. Okay, now they match. Raven and Raven. Snake and Snake. And... Finally. Whale and Whale. And Raven and Raven. Very good. Let's just prepare ourselves.
And we captured its soul. Which soul was that? Greater soul. Wow. Okay. Soldier, some potions. That's not good. Okay, so for this puzzle, this puzzle's fun. Because when you do them, more than one of them turns. But I do have a technique for this. So we get this one correct, then we get this one correct, then we get this one correct, we get that one correct, that one's now correct, that one's correct, that one's correct. And that one's correct. Nice and easy. Hold on, my boy. Hold on. I thought it high time I caught up with you. I could have used your help a little bit earlier. But okay. If you say so. Death of a Wanderer, huh? Okay. Well, I see a Soul Gem and Blister Wart and a Steel Shield for some reason. Well, there's something weird going on down here. Definitely time for a save. What the hell is that? Well now, would you look at that? I never imagined to find something like this. Why is this buried so far within Sarthor? Wish I could tell you. Be prepared to defend yourself. Okay. All right then. I mean, should we? Huh? Over here. Oh, that's not good. Yeah! Ow! That hurt. Nothing seems to work. Keep it busy. I'll try to bring some. of searing. Be bound here, Jurek, murderer, betrayer, condemned by your crimes against realm and lord. May your name and your deeds be forgotten forever, and the charm which you bear be sealed by our ward. Hmm, interesting. I'm not the only one seeing this, am I? Why, this is utterly unique. Yeah, what is this? 
Is it safe? What's this writing on it? Be prepared to defend yourself. I have no idea. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. The Archmage needs to be informed immediately. He needs to see this for himself. I don't dare leave this unattended. Can you return to the college and inform Savo Sauron of this discovery? Please, hurry. Alright, I'll do it. But um, I just want to pick some stuff up from on here first. does this amulet do? Increases magicka by 30, it adds to keep you focused while running. So basically exactly the same as my hood. Oh, treasure. Scaled horn armor. Yeah. Take the amethyst though. What's this? Hmm. Felt a bit odd there. This word was glowing and it stopped. Oh well. Not important. There's far too many other mysteries here in Sarthal that need taking care of. Um, just open that. Right then, it's back off to give the Archmage the uh, the news, I suppose. <laughs> 